Good evening, everybody. This is it. Welcome to be inside the tree hall. I've been standing inside a white cube, cube box for three evenings. The box was located in front of Artie. In these three evenings, from 8 to 10 o'clock, I'm standing inside this cube, cube box. The box is a closed space, and there is one five centimeter circle hole in one side of the box. My body inside the box, besides one of my ear, was hanging out towards the street. My assistant was standing next to the box and invited people telling secrets to my ear. To stay in this position for a long time, my body sensation separated to two parts, my ear and rest of my body. Since I cannot protect my ear, my ear became extremely sensitive, and rest of my body sensation just fade out. So what I heard became much more louder than it's supposed to be. I typed down all of the secrets I heard on my mobile phone, and now I wrote it on a notebook. And I'm going to share with you what I heard. During the process, I share those secrets with you. I need your collaboration. If what you heard is something connect to your private experience, then you are welcome to clap your hands like this. <laughs> and in case to make you your clapping stay private, I'll close the light and please walk around the space so you will not be recognized by each other. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, can I, can I uh, face all of you to stand up a bit? I'm going to make a try out now because the space is going to be dark, so maybe it's better we feel a bit the distance. And this light is like 190 centimeters, so don't hit that. And if you are accidentally uh, hit by each other, just uh, please forgive each other. So I will make a try out. Uh, I will say a sentence, and if you feel familiar, and please uh, collect. And then in the meantime, we walk around, you know, otherwise you know who is standing next to you. Mm -hmm. So can we walk a bit now? Just, you know, a bit gentle. So okay, the example is coming. I have been lying to my parents. Okay, thank you very much. Now we close the light. <laughs> I want to find love. Hey, year, I made love with a famous artist. And I can to see that I'm also famous. I also made love with glancy men. And I also feel myself a bit glancy afterwards. I want a new job. <laughs> Hey, year, did you hear anything that you still didn't know? Hey, you have really beautiful year. It's a really, really welcome year. Are you laughing now? Yeah, I think so. Should I tell you a joke? But I'm not good at joke, but my boyfriend is. Okay, bye, year. Tim and Bob hate each other. You got a phone call from Moscow. And then this guy just give me the phone. And this phone, somebody told me, I love you. And then this guy continued. But the ear, don't say anything. It's art. In Holland, it's art. <laughs> I came here for love, but I cannot stand anymore. Love is not enough. So I'm going back now. Goodbye, and thank you for listening. It looks really beautiful, your heart. I could never tell my parents how.
how bad they are. Because <laughs> they are so obviously good. So I don't know how to tell them or anybody. So you all love your parents. You have a beautiful year. I pee on my bed till I'm 11, and I suck my toe till I'm 8. <laughs> I love somebody, but nobody knows. He is so beautiful, so cute. We are perfect together. Should I tell him? I hate my father's cooking. Again. I'm sorry I thought you were fake. This afternoon my doctor just told me that I'm, I cannot live long. I changed my shirt today because somebody complained I had the same shirt yesterday. <laughs> with her. I love you. Are you a real year? I fall in love with wrong guy. I miss my mom. I didn't rehearse the show at all, not even once. But in the end, everybody sucks. <laughs> hey, James, what's your secret? This year is really dirty. It should be cleaned with oil. How are you doing? You are not answering. I imagine I have sex with a girl. <laughs> I'm actually very happy that I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> there are a lot of people here, so I have to whisper. I have five lovers. <laughs> I love Amsterdam. When I was eight, it was the first time I got my pocket money. I shouldn't spend this money on food. I need to spend on something necessary. But I went to buy a pack of peanuts, and I tell my parents I go to fish. But, but, that, but I ate whole peanuts next to the leg. When I went home, I said I am the peanuts flavor sandwich. I never tell my mom about it. Beauty will save the world. Is it comfortable here? Are you comfortable like this? My secret is, I will never tell my secret to anybody. My drama tool fuck up my work and he doesn't apologize. I'm afraid to become really old and alone. I can't stand on Lucy. How is it, how is it inside the box? Is it dark there? Your ear looks like a Chinese dumpling. <laughs> Three weeks ago, once I stopped out, stepped out the bus, I forgot my jacket on the bus, so I ran after the bus from Central Station to Library. But the bus didn't stop, but I start to feel dizzy. When I arrived home, I feel headache. I called the ambulance. They picked me up to the hospital. I had a headache for three weeks and I still didn't get my jacket back. 
I never tell the truth. That's the whole secret I did. Thanks for your participation.